You know, steering and suspension components are critical items in today's vehicles for safety, for comfort. Control arms may be one of the most misunderstood safety items within that segment. With me today is Dave Grasso from Dorman Products. Dave, what is it about control arms that shop owners really need to know when it comes to their customers, their techs, their service advisors? What is it about this component that you know, really can help them be more profitable business people? Well, sure. To start with, it's one of the most critical safety components. Um, it's responsible for attaching the vehicle's chassis to the wheels, allowing for both up and down and left to right movement. Um, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So the, the common diagnosis is, you know, a ball joint failure, uh, a bushing failure as the technicians underneath. Um, but for service advisors and for shop owners specifically, the most important fact is the control arm assembly itself saves labor during the repair and is the complete repair solution. Um, so when a technician identifies a worn ball joint or a worn bushing, um, often replacing the complete assembly can save the time of having to press out the ball joints, having to press out the bushings. Um, why that's important is the faster you turn the bays, uh, obviously the, the more that's in it for the shop owner itself, but it's really a complete solution for the vehicle owner as well, because you're gonna start to get these components wear out over time. How have the components changed over the years? Yeah, they've, they've obviously become more of a, a loaded assembly or a complete assembly. Where, uh, wh where are they come from? Where are they going? You know, to start with, they were heavy. Uh, they were often made of forged or cast steel. Um, and as you start to see the evolution in suspension technology, you're going to go to lighter components. Um, stamp steel, for example. Stamp steel is being able to be utilized to start to lighten the weight. Um, and then as the technology increases even further, you're going to get to lighter weight aluminums. And even on late model, tech, late model vehicles, you're going to have reinforced plastics. Uh, the reason they do this is every suspension is a little bit different. The design of the suspension is different and how they handle the weight of the vehicle is different. So years back when you would have you know, a coil over separate shock, your coil would be sitting on the lower control arm. What that does is it sits all the way to the vehicle as you hit a bump, as you hit a turn, right on that lower control arm. It's got to be heavy. It's got to be cast or forged. You know, it, it's, re, it's structural for that vehicle. Um, new designs as you move to McPherson struts, the vehicle's suspension is loaded through the knuckle. The knuckle is taking the weight of the vehicle. So with that, they're called unloaded control arms. So these are some examples. Um, this one specifically, it's a follower upper arm. Um, it's responsible for moving up and down with the knuckle, um, holding the vehicle's suspension geometry straight, but it's not holding load. Um, so as technology improves, you're going to get different designs for control arms. All the different components have to work together to, uh, to solve common vehicle problems. How can, uh, how can shop owners get the most information, up-to-date training on, on what's right for their, their customers' applications? So it, it always starts with the diagnosis. It starts with the technicians understanding where the wear component is. Um, you know, that part hasn't changed as much. Any component that's moving is a wear item. So as your ball joints move up and down, as your bushings move up and down, the technicians are responsible for that diagnosis. Um, what Dorman brings to the market is complete solutions. So rather than replacing the worn components individually, uh, creating a solution that saves that shop time, that saves the technicians, the, the labor in force, the specialized tools they need to bring out. Um, you know, you can imagine trying to take a unit like this, how large it is. Um, this has got a li large ride and handling bushing. That bushing is responsible for adding more comfort to the vehicle, but you know, in the end it used to be one or two bolts to take a bushing off. You can see there's six on this. Um, so just the time involved in each of these pieces, uh, as the technology advances, you're saving time and labor by replacing the unit itself. So Dave, with these components being so safety critical, what are the steps that are, are taken in product development to ensure that the components are right for the application? Yeah, it's a great question. So as we talked about, every vehicle suspension is a little bit different. Um, Dorman leads the market in coverage, and to do so, we have to have a unique development process that starts at the particular vehicle suspension. So we don't reverse engineer control arms. What our job is, is we look at the vehicle suspension system. We understand what the requirements of that vehicle are. We understand where the load is. We understand what the gross vehicle weight of the vehicle is. And we'll actually design each of our tests and each of our development criteria based on that application. Um, so straight through our uh, design process, all the way through manufacturing. 
it's based on that particular vehicle suspension so we can understand and we can put the right safety measures in place to ensure quality across the whole cycle. Saving time, saving money, saving your customers' lives in some cases. <laughs> Absolutely. They are safety critical. Dave, how can people get more information? Uh, more information at dormanproducts.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.